Hello and welcome to King's Arena Podcast brought to you by Devon Kings, the brand that promotes togetherness. I'm your host, Mary Colette. And let me just let you know now that we're about to have the funniest episode this season. And that's because we have the sixth funniest comedian, not in Nigeria, not in Africa, in the whole world. If you're wondering who I'm talking about, it's comedian Furnaces. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, what up, what up, what's going on? It's your favorite comedian, Africa's Pride, the sixth funniest man in the world. AKA, I'm from Ogwashuku, a small town in. I'm from Ogbogude, Ogwashuku in Delta State. <laughs> okay. Are yeah. you sure this is not a lot of pressure? Because I just promised them the funniest episode. Yeah, uh, who funny? Don't funny now. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. Trust you. Trust you. All right, guys. Let's meet our next guest. We have a reality TV star. She is an actor. She's the owner of Lucy Grills, a chef. Are you ready to meet this person? Because I am. It's Lucy Edit. Hi. Hey, girl. Hi, hello. You look so good. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I love the lipstick. We're twinning because... Yeah, oh, that's right. Red lipstick gang. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You look amazing yourself. Have... Thank you so much. No, well, you don't. Please don't say you have lipstick, too. I have, no, mine, mine are natural. I have uh, pink lips. Okay. No, you don't. Why not, not jealous? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that's more purple than pink. <laughs> Luckily, one of the few though, because many of them they have like black lips. Black lips, and you know, I don't have black lips. Or really one. pink and odd. oh, pinkish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Lucy, how's life? How's everything? Well, it's been amazing. It's mm-hmm. um, full of ups and downs, but then yeah. again, it's worth it. So yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, so like the last time I saw you, I think it was on. I mean, I see you on the internet, you know, here and there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know, obviously when you were on Big Brother, I got to see you like every single day of the week. And (laughs) how has life been since coming out of Big Brother? Um, It's been very interesting, like really, really interesting because never in my life would I have imagined this um, level of fame, number one. Yeah. Um, Like... Okay, maybe other people had an idea or something. I don't know. I just went there. I'm like, okay, I'm going there to promote my business. Yeah. I just felt Yeah, okay. you kept saying that. Yeah, I just felt it was just going to be within Nigeria. You know, you would just be well-known. Your business be well-known yeah, in Nigeria. Yeah. Nobody really care about you mm-hmm. as an individual. Everyone mm-hmm. just be focused on your business. You yeah, know? yeah. And then you come out and it's quite the opposite. Yeah, like everybody, everybody just knows you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you try to branch out to other things, everybody just cares about Lucy and food and cooking. That's all. That's all. If it's not related to that, they don't want to hear it. And yeah. I'm like, you guys, come mm, on. Mm-hmm. Even if you tell people I act now and they're like, oh, no, 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 it's you and food. I mean, your grill business, how is it going? Yeah. Yes, that is still going. I love it. But I'm going into, I'm trying to get into other things. Can you guys like make that opportunity yeah. available? Yeah. Or at least help me push that. But no, like you and food, you like, that's that's it. it. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Nigerians are very extreme people in the mm. sense that when they like you for a certain thing, that's all they want to see. Yes. When they like you, and when they like you, they like you. Yes. Like, and when they don't, no, they don't. So it's the like hatred I faced when I came out. It was so much like, huh? <laughs> mm. I don't know how I managed to change it. That it became, oh, oh my gosh, she's looking. Most of it, I think, was from the looks. I got like a really, um, I got a lot of setbacks because of how I looked at the time. People, yeah. people did not like the fact that I had so much piercings and colored hair. Mm. Uh, yeah, and then they were like, oh, maybe I was too old for the show kind mm. of thing. So there was all that backlash. So by the time I came out and rebranded, yeah. and everybody was like, wait, so. This so isn't the same like person. This. Till today, when I go out and people meet me, they're like, oh my God. This is how you look in person. in person. You look better in person. You look nicer. You look yellow. You're taller than I thought. I'm like, yeah, you're, you know, you're fine just, now. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> every day. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, what were you guys expecting? Like yeah. the TV was yeah and amen. Yeah, oh, trust me. I wasn't yeah. gonna grow. Yeah. i I feel like people who go on Big Brother are actually really, really brave because you've literally set yourself up to be judged hmm. by people and they automatically think that they know you yes. and I can just imagine how you know that must have been and I feel Honestly. like also people have moved on like huh? everybody like you can't, you can't <laughs> fix it on one person forever so hmm. you don't think so, <laughs> so you, you, you don't think so so you watch yeah hmm. um, <laughs> one of their uh, Big Brother colleagues um, D1 comedian friend of mine went to one of their editions and then D1 and I flew out to 
um, Calabar to do a show. Mm -hmm. And then in uh, a regular, nobody knows us. And then we stepped out of the hotel room and someone was like, ah, hi, D1. And D1 was like, <laughs> D1. Ah. Yes, sir. You know me, it's ah. And then the person drove us to the venue. Because, hmm. I mean, it was a strange lamp for us. We all had cars then, but of course we're in Calabar. Yeah. You know, flew down to Calabar and then the person drove us to the venue and dropped us back. I'm like, ah, D1. And they know the guy. Of course. This is like, I don't know how, whether it's South South or yeah. Calabar. I think it's South South. I went to Dubai. The security guy at the shop I wanted to buy a wristwatch from knew who I was. Mm -hmm. In Dubai? In Dubai. Yeah. That's crazy. People message me and they're like, love from Gambia. Love from Zimbabwe. I'm That's like, next level fame. Yeah. So I can imagine why thousands of people audition for this, for this show every mm -hmm. You don't even know what you're getting into yourself. Yeah. I don't think anybody really knows what knows they're getting what they're into getting until into. You, you come out. Yeah, until you get into it. I, did, I didn't think that um, people loved me for real. Like, Because when I meet people on the road and they scream, like, oh my God, let's they hug you. Yeah. But for the longest time, I, I'm somebody that I like my space. So for the longest time, I'm always like this. Mm, closing up, but yeah. But I lie, oh, I was like, nobody, uh, nobody can just love you from just seeing you on yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah. It's a lie. True that. Sister, <laughs> they do. call you like they know you. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God, Lucy. And I turn and I'm like, oh, somebody I know. None. <laughs> you don't know these people from. And I, anyway. They know you only from voice. I went to a hotel. I ordered something on the phone. I just ordered food on the phone. And she knew it was she you. She knew it was me. I think you have a peculiar voice, actually. I think I would know your voice. I, I think I, I would know. I think I would. Is this I, show? I, would. Is this show? I mean, she does. I mean, listening uh, to her talk every day. On the show. I think it's just the show. Yeah. It's crazy. But like listen that. to her talk every day. That means you are married. Okay. Yo, if you say, if everybody's voice is unique. You know that, right? Nobody yeah. has the same voice. Yeah. Even if And I'm really good with voices. Yeah. So you can imagine. From <laughs> <laughs> what I know I know that you you're obviously a stand-up comedian um as well. And you you know, you venture you do skits, right? On Instagram? Yeah, I just you know, I just thought maybe um let's just, you know, keep the fans because you can't have an Instagram page that is just blank. Yeah. So I just do um one or two and I post it. Yeah. So I do, I do yeah. a couple mm -hmm. here and there. Okay, okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean I watch yourself, stalk you a little bit. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing. No, 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 no. He, first of all, he's a married woman. He's a married man. I'm a married man, yes. And he just had a baby. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, uh, he's, he's one month old tomorrow. Aww. So he's one month old soon. Aww. Yeah, no. <laughs> Are you ever counting months? Normally, they do weeks, uh, like four weeks. Four weeks old, yes. No, this month. After this month, now, next one is... One year. Uh, one. one year. One year. I can't oh, be doing that's that amazing. too. You know, the entire challenge on Instagram, on social media, mm. TikTok, you know, you say January, February, <laughs> March, <laughs> April. You know, if someone picking all of you, I want to suck breast. Leave January, February, March, you know, let me suck breast. You know, um, but I mean, I, I did a couple for my wife because my wife, you know, she's not, um, She's not a social media person. Yeah. So you can't really find her on social media. Mm. You know, so I just did a couple for her. I'm like, oh, okay, no, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. you know, so people so spend time on social media. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's let's talk a little about that. How long have you been married for? Um mm. <clears throat> Wow. That's taking you a little too long. I hope it's Ten months. Ten months? Yes. No, uh, uh, hold up, hold up. 11 months. Yeah, 11 months. Oh, wow. 11 months, yeah. That's nice. Let's do the maths. <laughs> Don't do maths. No, she had the baby two months after they got married, mm -hmm. I guess. Come on, uh. Have you? No. You're, you're a calculator. Wait. <laughs> you're a human calculator. Okay, let's, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You're a human calculator, isn't it? Actually, yeah, it was, actually. It was, mm. it was a month after. After, mm. fair, uh, fair. My wedding was in March. And um, she got pregnant in April. Oh, like wow, that was fat. God bless you guys. Mm, like, he was like, immediately. Oh, okay. It's the speed and the quality of the... the mm. But congratulations. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, so you'll be doing one year anniversary soon. One year anniversary and his... Aww. And his one year birthday. Oh, that's No, amazing. one year anniversary and his um, baby dedication. It's not up to one year. Don't no, worry, I did the I did the right things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did the right thing. Huh? Okay. <laughs> for me. Ah, stop it! Stop it! Stop okay, it. I'm I'm gonna ask you because I'm actually happy that you know you are, you know you're in this 
in the position of like being married and everything. So I feel like yeah. you'll be able to answer this question for I, me. I, I, I hope I, I hope I am able to. You would be able to, don't worry. <laughs> There's this conception that, you know, people have about men that they don't necessarily marry who they love. They marry who is ready when they're ready to settle down. Would you think, <laughs> would you say, yeah, so like when, you're, when you were getting married, was it because you wanted a, your partner or was it because you needed her at the time? Okay, so the truth is, yeah, when I wanted to get, this is me being honest. Yeah. This is me very, being very honest. When I wanted to get married, I had um, I had a couple of boxes in my head I wanted women to take. Oh, my God. <clears throat> yes, no, carry on. I'm listening now. What I'm saying, you got to be making up the books. Yeah, okay. Oh, hey. So I, I had a couple of boxes in my head. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know what boxes she wanted in yeah, her own head, yeah. but I had mine, mm. you know, and I'm like, I wanted a woman who doesn't have it all complete, but I wanted a woman who is a hustler. Okay. Who is willing to do partnership. I wanted a woman who would, um, it's okay. I wanted a woman who is a bit logical, and, you know, mixed with emotions, you know, so she could say, okay, guy, okay, I see I'm for your own end, but why don't you just see for my own end and then we'll just come to a common ground and then we conclude. Was that type of woman that's, I wanted? That's very mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't want the woman do, um, who wanted a guy who was already because I wasn't already. Mm. I didn't have it. I just had a car and an apartment. I, think, mm. I mean, that was all I had. Yeah, I that's quite have, much. People have married for less. way less yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even have an investment. Like mm. some days, you didn't so much money for me, but yeah. I have a blueprint and I have a plan. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, whoever is going to come into my life, I'm like, can you run with my plans? Can you? My this is what I have. I don't have mm. it all complete. Yeah. Can you can you be in this, you know, partnership, yeah. The partnership. My show's like, uh, man, I don't even want best word on because you go with best word don't get them. If you say A, hey, like hey, come on now. Huh? Yeah. Money solves it. So he's not there to do some of the dirty works. You know, kinda, you know, I just hope I'm able to you know, and that's how we got it all started. And then we did okay, Alpha. I met my wife in November. November. It's how you're smiling at me. <laughs> I don't like how you're smiling. So, I'm, I'm I'm like, so let me confess. I don't like how she's smiling at me. I met my wife. I met my wife November, <laughs> December, January, February. Oh good. And I married her in March, so it was just three months of dating. So it wasn't so much. That is interesting. Yeah. So you, so you met her, and in three months you knew that that was going to be your wife. I just, I knew in five days. Well, I'm being okay, honest. at this point, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Wait, wait. I have like a lot of lines of thoughts, but it's just like shattering all of them. As all we of go. them. Like, no, but I knew, I knew fire. Like Afa, Afa, you go do. <sighs> yeah, and, and, okay, you can I ask you a bad. question? Yeah. Your previous relationships, have you were they sh- shorter or longer than that? So I have. I'm gonna confess, I've never had a relationship as far as a year. A year. Mm. I've never had it. I'm not a fan of it because I just feel in one year, you what's it one do? Yeah, yeah, you should know. No, we just run them. You know, so it's, it's always been two months, three months, two months, three months. Three months. And some of them have, some of them have been sexual. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so in, say, in, in, in two, three months, you just know I don't want to be with this yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah, know. Just a week yeah. is enough to actually And trust out. me, some of those people that were supposed to get married that didn't work out, Still very good friends till now. Till today, okay. Yeah, to be just... honest, I feel like it's better than wasting someone's time for years mm-hmm. only to not end up. I mean, fair. Also. But but then again, do you then date with the like end goal? Of, do, must you date with the end goal being marriage? That's to him, right? No, to you, Lucy. <laughs> uh, come on, now. that's your that's your um, this cup. This, this is my cup. <laughs> see, yeah, no to see in this. my own life, mm. personally, I used to date with the intention of marriage. Like, yeah. be, when you meet somebody, you've already pictured, pictured your whole life together. <sighs> you've done all the mathematics, you've calculated. How many babies can, you're having. I, can, I can't count how many relationships <laughs> I've lost with that calculation. Because... The people I thought would not marry at that time, they are married. Like, they married... Just like that, yeah. They married earlier than I had calculated in my head. I thought they were too young. And then the ones that were older that I was going to go and date at the time, they are still fucking single till now. So, hmm. help me do the math. So, what was the whole point? Mm. I'm not even joking. Like, this... People I dated when I was, like, 
19, uh, 1920, like, yeah. you know, that boyfriend, girlfriend from yeah. after entry, entering university level, nothing, no strings, or just boyfriend in the name yeah. kind of thing. Those boys are married now. No. Yeah. Hmm. Like, they married years ago. Like, I'm not yeah, talking of. I'm not yeah. Talking of, yeah. But people that I dated in the name of, okay, they're older. Older, more mature. Yes. Still they will be ready single. to they'll be ready to settle down. Still I feel like that's something that we women do a lot. So I stopped. Now yeah. I just date for the in fact I don't even date anymore since somebody broke my heart into pieces. <laughs> so I don't even date what, anymore. What year, what year was this breakup? Um 2017. Wow, so you see. 2017, 2018, 2019-ish. Like in between, on and off, in on between, and off. In between, yeah. So yeah. you're not going okay. I don't want I don't want a relationship like like I don't know how to even explain it. So as much not, as I want a relationship, I don't I don't really need it. I want one, yes. Yeah. I don't need it. Hmm. So, get, yeah. so yeah. all you just you just go get a guy and you get some uh, I do the qu- I do the question in here for instance. <laughs> what, eh? My bad. Eh? So it's just <laughs> It's, it's, it's really complicated. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, see, it's very, very different for us women. We've been conditioned to think a certain type of way. Like, you can't just date for vibes. You know, you have to mm. consider your future. Do you want to end up with this person or not? Are you the thinker like that, though? Honestly, I think it's just us. It's just you. There are some women that we have to offer. Uh, the majority yeah, let, let, of let women that, you I, that what, I have spoken to. Yeah, let me tell you what a babe did to me one time. And then I'm like, ah, uh-uh, what's up, man? You know, we're going to each other, you know, and then... It happened, and then after I'm trying to call, nobody's not going to. I met her somewhere. I'm trying to call her number. I said, ah, that sheep don't sail now. Hmm. She's gotten what she wanted from me. Oh, my pay me. <laughs> and I've been a perform. Uh, so well, or, you, or you thought you performed. I think that's the level I'm on right now. No, no, I perform. Like, are you sure? Yeah, it's just get, get what you do. I'm a performer. Go. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Well, what is it? Hey, Jesus. I don't I don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I get what you mean because um okay, let me let me go back to you, Francis. When you when you did it eventually settle down, yeah. was it because you felt like, okay, yeah, I need you know, because you've been in relationships in the past, you didn't end up in marriage. What was it you what was it that was so different this time around? So or was it just because you felt like I okay I need to settle ready at that down? Time. Yeah. I think it's just when I ready. think it's just when you're ready. Like I just I, I need I, to settle down. I've gotten to that age. Mm, well, I think what happened to me was um so I had let me confess, some hey, of you are God, single. Let me just let me give you through pass. What about you single guys? So my pastor, Pastor Balaji do on his, on you know, Balaji ID on um lead pastor harvesters. Harvesters, yeah. Yeah, so he used to have prayers and then so when he started praying for a relationship. I just go to the comment section. I know the girls are single, you know, going to oh. the DMs and uh, hi, what's up? How you doing? I got a couple that didn't work out. We didn't even date at all, and you know, but you know, it's not messed up. No, it's not messed up. Is I'm, it? Guys, I'm telling you that I'm giving you expo. No, because go to Pastor Balaji, wait, 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 hold on. Mm. She went to the the, the the pastor's page, and then you knew these girls were. Um, my darling, my darling, hey, Lucy. So my so pastor, my pastor prays for. Um, people your that husband single, will look you at you, and you go and check single, all the people. single people, and then you just start DMing girls and say, Amen. Mm. Lord, let my man look at me. Just Hi, DM you her. DM her. Oh, Hi, okay. okay. You? I could be the man. You know, <laughs> wait, wait, you know. wait, 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 wait. What do you DM her with the intention of? So, all I do is, so I'm a, I'm a huge fan huh. of friendship. I have a lot of female friends. I have more female friends than guys. I'm not even capping. Mm. I just say, Hi, what's up now? Hi, my name is and I would like to be your friend. And then we got we get talking. Mm-hmm. And then if it doesn't work out, what I don't push work it. Out? Friendship. Yeah, yeah, no. So wait, well, you know, no. Hold on. Okay. So what doesn't work okay, out? Okay, so let me say this. Mm-hmm. For the, let me say this for camera for the first yes. time. So I got I got uh, involved with a babe, very cute babe. How so involved are we talking here? Not sexually. Okay, but just platonic. Mm-hmm. I got involved with the babe, and then I went to see her in church. This was my own church in Ikeja. I drove to Ikeja, and I'm like, okay, so let's just hang out. And she was like, nah. I'm going to see my mom. I can't hang out with you. It was our first time of meeting. Yeah. It didn't pain me. So I just entered the car, drove to the mother church in Bagada. As I got there, that's how I met my wife. I'm not capping. Really? That was the day I met my wife. No jokes. Because I look at I'm like, ah, which one, 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 So I, no, no, not a church girl. I was looking for, I was looking for a wife anywhere. But I mean, it but was a Sunday. But you were specifically 
going to church related things. We're going to specifically now. Yes, now the comment uh, section. Oh yeah, comment section. I go <laughs> to the pastor. I go to the pub. Because you know that these ones they are, you know, they are, they are looking. Ah, for Lucy, they are looking Lucy. for it. Lucy, not loud, them, not loud. Ah, ah, God, I'm pained. Do you know why I'm pained? Because growing up, I was a very serious church person. Church person. And I used to okay. believe that. The all now, this, no, no, hold on. I used to believe that the guy in church. Yeah, your husband was in church. I used yeah. to believe that. Oh, the guy in church, they are. Oh, okay. At least you've come in. This is the sanctuary. Yeah. If the guy is here. They're not going to want anything from you. They're just going to be. You people will talk, pray, uh, pray, and everything, and then. Um, see your parents and then you will marry before another thing. Guy, was that the biggest scam of my life? <laughs> so when the time I discovered that it was not, in, it, I was hurt. Yeah, because so yeah, you were busy opening up to them. No, like um, you just trust these people because, because they're they're in they're church. Yeah, and the thing is, sometimes it's targeted. Oh, it, it is very yeah, much targeted. Like guys try it, yeah. no, but no guy, women. <laughs> Tell you what, yeah. Mm. Let me confess. I made up my mind I wasn't going to have anything to do with a babe in church if it's not marriage. Trust me, I've never... What, was this before or after you slid in your DMs? I've never dated a church babe. Say date. Mm-hmm. If I enter your DM and it doesn't work, I just pull out. But you met your wife Honestly. in church. You guys dated before you got so, married. So I, I drove angrily to my church and I just sat at the back. She was just busy cleaning the church. And I'm like, all right, what's up now? Nice. Oh, wife material. That was how it happened. Oh, oh. That was like, I didn't meet her on social media. She's not even social media savvy. She's, not, she's just there. Regular babe, I just met her. Alpha, you go marry me, I go marry you. Like just like that. Okay, do you know yeah. what? This, do you know what this also reminds me of? It, in, when choosing your partner as well, I've noticed that people rarely ever go for. You know how guys would date social media babe. You know, fashionable fashionista mm. babes. They don't care about those things. Though. When it is now time to marry, you will now see their They're wives. Their wives the village. Their wives will now be. No social media, get barely they fashionable. They can control. See, they want somebody that that. You see, like, you have no idea. Do you agree with I that, Francis? That don't you guys are manipulate. when it is time for Who you. To, when yes you're looking to for a partner, you're looking for everything. someone you can. My darling, my darling, my wife is not social media savvy, but I swear to you, I don't have one single control of my home. I'm just a tenant. <laughs> I'm well, being that's honest. Good for you. I'm sure I'm you was This is what I'm happens, just a guy right? that lives. Some days I sleep in the living room. Some days I don't know where see, I sleep. See, because when you, you, want, went, to, you want to be king, yeah? you come and be king. Let No, no, you went with the intention of what you know, mm-hmm. being able to control and manipulate. Or luckily for you, you enter the house and she shows you another color. See, yes, it's what, it's what was, that, was that what happened? Definitely. You <laughs> see, my darling, I'm a it. family man to mm. the core. Mm. See, yeah, I cannot. I, first of all, I'm the only male grandchild in my house. So God forbid if I die now, my family name is wiped out. Okay, I already have a son. Yeah. So I mean, Aww. it continues. Mm-hmm. So just imagine before I had a son, my family name is, I die, my family name is wiped out. Okay. So I'm just, I grew up with girls, so I understand women mm. to the core. In my house, I'm saying this to the camera, it's I'm a tenant. Because you, you, you're nice, you have a good heart. Yeah. Imagine people doing the same thing and they don't have that kind yeah. of heart. There are so many people that have had stone hearts. In my house, I'm, I'm macho. But then they line your child, line your, you know, should be, I want to be responsible. Yeah. Go ahead and be irresponsible. I, well, you know, I think what Lucy is saying is you're just one of the few people who That's actually do what will happen to you with the intention. And have good intentions. Yeah, with, with good intentions. Most Some of people, people who do it don't yeah. have that good intention. And they just be leading the girls astray. Yeah. But you know what I think, though? Mm-hmm. I think that at the end of the day, some of these men, the people that they were dating, those were their true types. The people they end up with, not really their type. They well, just marry them. Why do they end up it, cheating? It's, it's called compromise. They, just they, 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 they then cheat with their type. It's called compromise. What, what Compromise how? Okay, so... They're confused. They don't know what they want. I'm not supposed to say this on camera, but there are people that I know. <coughs> there are people that I know who are like, hey, man, this is how I want my home to be. But when you go to their homes, you're like, ah, bro, how far... Because girls, girls who know how what what they're doing, that they, they love a lot of women who they give you what you want, they give you what you want to hear till they you tell, enter the till house. you enter the house. And for years, it's been that way, and I, I keep telling myself, I say, okay, don't worry, I would, I would try, I would try. You will say yes, 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 but I, I'm just too stubborn for that. Oh, so, so saying yes, I we agree, I we do what the person yeah. you give them what they want. So when you had, but I, I don't have the patience to do that so, because what men really want is somebody that would, of course, ah yes, yes you man, bow, yeah, you will, Submit, you will, be submissive, uh, you will clean, you will do this one. See, when you uh, enter that house, see, you will see shit. Let me tell you, eh? I know some women. Some of you say some women will not pretend. 
My wife, I don't, my wife needed to submit nothing. <laughs> but she was cleaning church. But so what? Does she still clean church guess, though? But guess what? Yeah. She submits. She submits no, to Jesus. No, no. She so submits she, to so God. She has a kid now. She can't go anywhere. Mm. She was certain period of mm-hmm. you know time. But <laughs> no, no. Okay, I'm just telling on. you. I'm just telling you. It takes a man who genuinely <clears throat> wants to be that guy. Yeah. You know, you can as well come and be a tyrant in your home. Mm. Yeah, but I promise you, you will not sleep well. Uh, the married men know now. You want to come and control your home. You want to come and be king. I have a friend of mine whom anytime but he comes he home... Sorry, let, let me let me land. Sorry. Okay. I have a friend of mine who anytime he comes home, he starts honking. He's a self compound. He starts honking. Just you know, come and open the gate. Yeah, and then the, the wife was... Maybe she was cooking or something. And then someone else opened the gate. And then... So he got to the house and he was raking. He was raking that one. He was shouting. And then he sat down, you know, football came on. And then the wife brought food for him. He said, I well, don't know. I heard you shouting, you know, head of the family. <laughs> I don't feel like to shout. And he started laughing. Because the guy looked and say, What's it make me the shout? Exactly. What's in the cook with the rake? Mm-hmm. You know, so there are there are certain things you just there, there there's a there's a way you and your wife now we don't lock up. Now, yeah. We don't lock. You know each other. You know, yeah. like some, sometimes my wife does something, I'm like, ah. Ah, man, I never mess up like you, but... No, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. You can't do wrong in my eyes. You know, you, you know what, Lucy, you were saying something earlier about how, like, some people, you know, they behave a certain way because they know that that's what the other person wants. Mm-hmm. And that's just basically changing yourself to fit in this person's, I don't know, ideology of how I want my wife to be, which is a... Have you, do you feel like you've ever had to change yourself, like, in relationships, just... Because I know you are a very, like, you're a very, like, outspoken person. And yeah. you're, like... And that's the problem. I think that's why I'm still single. Hmm. Yeah. Because, I'm, like I said, I, I would not accept, like... So even with... Okay, so there was this time, there's this one person that keeps coming to mind because I think that's the only person I really tried to, like, change for, hmm. per se. Not completely, you know, I was still stubborn the way I was, but there's still some things that I... I tried to adjust. Sure, yes. Yeah. To feel, and after that time, I told myself, never again. Never again will I say I'm adjusting this for anybody. Every time that I've tried to even like adjust something a bit for someone, it did not still go well. So what's the point? Hmm. I just feel like somebody's going to accept me the way I am, the whole craziness and everything. Because there are couples I've seen that are that are crazier than me. Yeah. And they are married, happily married. Yeah. So I feel like uh, they, and they're happy. I'm talking so, kind of faking it for social they media or anything. Juju, it's a lie, it's not any juju go away. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that <laughs> somebody like, now, I, I keep telling people, I say, if you want a particular thing, people say they found out their husband was bi or whatever. Yeah. If from the beginning, you guys have this, you know, discussion that, look, this is what I want. Of course, when you go along the way, you already knew what you're going to. Yeah. The problem only starts when somebody was covering up something and then you get in and you figure out something else. Yeah. I'm going to be brutally honest, honest with you from scratch. If it's okay with you, you come in. If it's not okay, that's fine. I'm not forcing but, you. But people, people pretend, though. I know, but I'm not going to be that person. I've yeah. made up my mind. I'm just going to be the way I am. I can't even hide it, even if I wanted to. No, yeah, you, you yeah. Know, you did very... It's for local. No, very... in, I mean, I mean internet now. Even oh, if I okay. wanted to hide it, I can't anymore because my life is on YouTube. Yeah. Is there anybody Fair. wants to, all they need is your name and they go check it out. So they know if they want to deal with you. Somebody refused yeah, to yeah, rent me very, a house. You did very open. Somebody yeah. refused to rent me a house in Lagos because of, just because it's me. Do you expect me to wow. go and kill myself because of that? Wow. Are you serious? I'm not kidding. I will just move on to the next thing. Somebody else will be glad that to have you, you in yeah. their house. So it's the same thing. It's the same way I see marriage. Yeah. If you, you're not okay with it being me, that's very fine. But somebody, I'm not change yes, for you. somebody else. Yeah. Hmm. I'm okay with being by myself, even if I end up not married at all. I don't mind. It, I'm that comfortable with myself. Mm. Okay. What about you, friends? Did you feel like you have to, you had there were things, certain things about you that you had to adjust? You know, because obviously <laughs> you were single now, you're married. Like, did you think that there are things that you had to adjust because, oh, now I'm a married man now? Okay, so for, first of all, uh, my wife is my wife is pretty clingy. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, she wants me to be there all the time. But, you know, the nature of my job requires me to be out almost all the time. Yeah. And most of my job is networking. I get to meet people, talk to people, blah, blah, blah. You know, so I'm learning to adjust that there are some that I can do in the daytime. You know, cause uh, there are some I can, I can wave off. I mm. can do via Zoom one hour. My wife prefer me to be in the house working rather than be out. Be like, ah, your presence. My, my, if I get home, my wife still behaves like a child. 
no so she yeah my husband is back. I'm like yeah, ah, yeah. come on now the age gap but between us not much why they be like now this picking what we don't bond with it like you know so it, it taught me to understand that these people need us yeah around no matter how busy you are you have to learn how to balance family life mm-hmm. now I tried as much as possible um if uh, a comedian I went to uh, Big Brother, D1 is my very good friend. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he calls me 12 from 1. But he, my wife is comfortable with his company. Because, mm-hmm. okay, he go talk business. Now yeah. talk. He yeah. say he go carry you, come out. That, if you're in the house talking business, makes sense to her than you being absent. You know, and then because there's a child, you know, I mean, single mothers, I must commend you guys now they try. I swear, I can't do it. I, I just imagine yeah. my wife being with this child alone. Alone Marie, by Marie herself. Try. Yeah. Yeah. Give it to them. Marie yeah. Try. Yeah. 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 I mean, in, in that in that aspect, you see, like, you, you can adjust. I, I mean, I get what you mean about like your behavior and everything, like how you are. I don't mind meeting you in the middle. Yeah. At some point. Meeting in the middle. Yeah, but I'm yeah. talking of when we're about to start. And I now start changing my character because yeah, of you. Because yeah, because of you, yes. Yeah. But as you get to know each other, mm-hmm. both of you, like, it's something that you can say, okay, like, what he's saying, like, if someone is clingy and you're not clingy... It will take a while. Are you clingy? I don't even know. It depends on the person. Just, mm. just, it depends on the person. She's told me before. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong that one. Wrong so it depends. It depends on the person, mm-hmm. right? So I and I always feel like if you like someone, of course you become clingy, and there are things yeah. that yeah. exchange, yeah. right? I believe strongly in that. So after a while, you know, you're not a clingy person, but the other person is. After mm-hmm. a while, you find yourself picking up the person's habit. Yes. Mm. Like, like for let me just confess, my wife taught me utmost hygiene. Hmm. It's not like I was a dirty guy. You know, but she took me to another level of hygiene. I didn't know that there are certain things that you can do to keep clean. So she just... Uh, teach us, it. teach us. No, I don't... No, <laughs> no, 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 like nah, the general one. one. Not the... Nah, <laughs> see, oh. Like, I'm not confessed. Normally, some guys for yeah. Hey, some days, book? some days you don't come back. You know, go hungry, bath. You understand? You yeah. don't sleep. Yeah. When you come and hug me, but, hug you. Yeah, but, you know, because, you know, it's fine. And you want to hug and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you have to bath. Yeah. To See, I package. like the whole lovey-dovey thing. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. I, I love watching people that, okay, you guys are doing your whole lovey-lovey. I like the whole romance mm. thing. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. You see the main act itself? Yeah. If I have a way to dodge it completely. Oh, would. you would. Yes. Uh, but the whole like romance... The the, I love the romance. I like what comes yeah, with the boy. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Because do you know what's oh, funny? Yeah. What See, what, you, what I've actually noticed is that a lot of people derive pleasure from what comes before the actual yeah, the whole, thing the, the action you know the acts of service all those other things before the main event maybe well, the main like event is just though. for it's just to please to please the other, the other person yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mostly sorry <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. very, very correct. Like, you, you come to find out that not everybody, like, everybody is different. So people are like, mm-hmm. oh, my gosh, you know, I want to do this. But not everybody really enjoys. Yeah, exactly. But then again, sometimes you meet someone that makes you go gaga. And you'll be like, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, you do all this. So it depends. So, again. So it, it, start, it, it starts off like, Alpha, Moku, Rondis. Ah, mm. why do you like this? Yeah. Because you trust, it's trust. Yeah. Because okay. you trust the person, like, mm-hmm. man, I run out with them. You're going to go, man, yeah. enjoy yeah. that move. Yeah. But that way, psychologically, you're going well. You yeah. know, mm. small, small Okay, n- now speaking of things that we think that are normal, I feel like one thing we all thought was obviously growing up. You know, you, there was a time when if your parents see you with a man, for mm. instance, God, they will scream, like, why are you following or you? Like, they will tell you, oh, you want to get her pregnant. Da, 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 da. And you come to find out that there's sometimes when, <sighs> when you were younger, those people, you actually genuinely loved, loved Thank them. You. Thank you. Right? So, so, for example, me, I had a babe. I'll mention your name. I'm sorry. I know you're grown now. You're a grown ass woman. It's fine. <laughs> I mentioned your name. Her name was Euphemia. 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 She was a senior in my secondary school. Mm. Tell you what, yeah. We finished... For those of you who live around Pedro, there's a church called S.S. Peter and Paul. And I used to live in Johnson Street. So... How do you remember all those things? Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm too I'm, much I'm, trauma to remember all of This is around 2007, <laughs> six, five, six, five, seven ish You know, so I was working with her from church... To the house. Oh, we're having those truly like we walk back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my dad, my dad drove by, 
I'm packed somewhere. Oh my god. It was like your oh, heart is beating oh, already because oh, 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 you oh, just know. So it was like uh, it was like Al Pacino. I it. Oh my Al Pacino god. was just you know he now stood in one corner and I, I passed with a very beautiful girl. Hi. I can't remember her face. Super. You know I have very just and, and close eyes. She can't really open it, but you know they are sexy. Mm. You know, so <laughs> my dad, my dad just parked the car and I came out hey. in front of the car like this, and then I passed with the chick. My dad hey. now called my name. Was it dark? You didn't know it was your father. It wasn't dark. It was afternoon. I was just passing. I didn't know anybody could you be did, there. I don't, yeah, I don't you didn't look left or right. I was focused. Yeah, Hi. but that was like Emeka Ubido. That's my name. I'm like, sir. <laughs> now now said, come me? here. Then I went to meet him. I said, what was that? I said, who's that? I said, my senior from school. I just to get into the car. And I asked That's, my dad, how about, experience. how about her? So her dad should come and pick her. Wow. My dad just drove off. My dad just drove off. Wow. Rather. And I'm like, ah, damn. At least now your rep will go up that your dad had it. My rep will go up anything. <laughs> because I want to ask if, what if, happened. Because I was the only male child. If I had that strong prestige in my home, I'm like, daddy, let's drop your family now. I'll be like, yeah, let's Africa home. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, South Africa, no worry yourself now. Yeah. South Africa was the runner, but me, no <laughs> respect. The motor self, you know, if you go off. <laughs> See, eh, go my her. own experience yeah. was not this sweet, maybe because it's a guy. Yeah. You know, for we ladies, it was quite different. Because yeah. My dad, in fact, just sighting my father's car from afar is enough for me. Eh? Run. Man. Eh? You have the nerve to even stand and say, hey, exactly. hey, I say, should, should want. Exactly. So do you think, once. yeah, do you think that <laughs> things could have been turned out different if okay. we were allowed to? Let me let me tell you about a situation, right? This one, I was already out of school. Like, Sorry. I was already in university, like, I think a year, year one or so. There's this lawyer that, uh, so we have a big shop. My mom rented out one side for the lawyers, mm-hmm. like, almost three bedrooms. So I don't know how they call it. One side, three bedrooms. The other side, three bedrooms also. Mm-hmm like very big stuff so he gave out the whole three bedroom on the other side to the lawyer so they used it as office yeah there was one of their lawyer like upcoming as at the time also that was there and then we were really close like nothing we're not just saying about anything no we're not seeing vital just every time he comes to the office like I used to anticipate him coming to, coming the, office to the office yeah because we would just we would laugh I would Aww. watch movies he would give me movies on my laptop all this kind of things I just liked the guy completely mm. and one day my mom told me she never wants to see me in that office again mm. how old were you at this time this is I'm talking um, 2011 let's say 21 hmm She's yeah. 11 to now. That's how old. See, are you calculating her age? Hey, hey God. Like so, <laughs> so imagine, imagine my mom telling me that. Of course, I obeyed because I'm I'm a very obedient person. Good person, yeah. Because ah, it's my mother. She knows what's best. Yeah. You get so. Of course, I do not. And uh, sorry to cut you off. How, how old was the lawyer at the time? I don't even know. But I'm very sure if he's, if he's older than me, probably three or four years highest. So he wasn't that old. Well, hold on. Just okay. hold on because okay, okay. this story gets more painful. Oh, wow. No, I stopped. Um, so I told him that uh, my mom said this so, so I cannot be coming. So we, you know, the chain broke off. A few years later, the guy was getting married and he brought wine to the house to invite myself and my mom for the wedding. And my mother said, ah, that she thought two of us were, that I was the one he was going to be marrying. I was, I was, I was pained because I'm like, wow. was How? I supposed to be sneaking behind you? So did she expect you not to listen to her? I, I, I have no idea till today. Wow, now I get it. Like, wow. Yeah, 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 you do get them. By now, wow. I'm not like so. Was that supposed to be sneaking behind you? Do you know, do you know this actually just makes you, because, wow. Oh, no, that thing pinned. Because the guy looked at me, you know how he, he's sitting in our parlor with the drink, and my mom says that, and he looks at me and I look at him, mm. and we just keep quiet. She he finishes the invitation and everything, and when he gets to the car, so he's married like, someone from your region. Yeah, he's married now. So oh, wow. he's like, "Did you hear what your mother said?" I'm like, "I heard." Like, says, "What? What did she mean?" Like, ah, you, you asking me? Yeah, 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 like, no. yeah, because you you come to find out that our parents were the same people who would tell us, "Don't talk to these people," and then you get to a certain age, they're asking you, "Where's your husband?" You? you know, "Where's your wife?" The same you that. Stopped on the road and oh, stops me from talking to from walking with Femi at home. Say, t- <laughs> <laughs> See, at a point, nice at, callback, a point nice callback, nice at a point, I told my mom, nice I callback. said, I'm not ready for marriage. Don't yeah. worry. Like because she was always saying the prayer that she's praying for me. I said, Don't worry, I'm not ready. When I'm ready, 
You know. I will tell you to start praying, praying. for me to get a husband. Mm. Because as at this point, I was I'd already made up my mind. I just want to make money mm. and just live a baby girl life. Like just live my life because yeah. baby girl. I had I had lost so many good relationships oh. because, because of that. Whole treatment. Treatment. Oh, do you different know different guys that I really liked? Maybe they will walk you home and they will warn you about the person. And oh, diff- different. It's crazy. That fear of oh, is it whether it was respect or fear of what your parents, parents will say? I, yeah. Do you know what I believe? I believe it's um, this Gen Z parents in that regard will do better. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think they're already doing better. I definitely. See, not even Gen like, Z parents. Fun, even millennials. Listen. Yeah, like, even, not even, listen to even you. us as parents, I feel like that's something I would never do to my so, kids. For, for example, I would invite the, the person overlook home. Overlook it. Do you know that? I would invite, like, if, if I see my 21-year-old daughter, she, you know, she likes a guy. The only time I'll probably frown against it is if the man is twice her age because, mm. you know, you know, 40, this is a grown-ass man. Because I, mm. in my opinion, if a man is in his... 40s chasing after a person in her 20s I feel like they're just, just trying to take advantage because they know that she she you know she, she, she'll girl. be very young yeah. and you know easily deceived but if it's a girl in, she's naive she's naive exactly that's how I feel but I feel like if, if a person my daughter is 21 and she has a 24 year old your daughter is 21 no I'm no, saying like if <laughs> if I would rather like it's easier to bring them bring the person and introduce because now, like, I know the, I know the person. I feel like they're just different, different approaches that could have been taken instead of, taken, instead of just saying completely, oh, don't talk to this person yeah, anymore. I, I get you. <laughs> like, like for example, yeah, um, um, I had, I when I wanted to get married, I had someone who was eleven years older than I was, you know, and then she's mm. got kids already, and then, so I didn't even consult my parents, so I just sat back and I'm like. So I looked at him like, uh, nah, I just want to have, I've, I'm never to really spoil it. So, yeah, maybe I might spoil it later in life, but not at that moment, mm-hmm. you know, where I have a woman who already had three kids. How was, old were you at this time? I, I can't tell, but I was already, um, she was 11 years older. So if I got into a relationship with her, she don't need past menopause. I mean, I, I would call the born children outside with look. I didn't want to have that. You know, mm, like, yeah. Like I told her, you know what, yeah, let's just be good friends, but we can't have this. But did you really like her? Mm, yeah, but I wasn't I wasn't ready to be a stepdad to kids who were my age mates. So, wait, you like you really liked her? Age mates. Was she a single mom? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Had kids his age. He's she had that oh. She had kids your age. Basically, no, but she's just. She no, I mean, I mean, even on my age, like in the age, same age brackets. Ah, I'm going to ah, my stepdad, my stepdad, and my ha! dad. Alpha. Do you know what? Do you know what? I feel like. Can I be honest? There are just certain things that. Because single moms deserve love too. We do not say they don't, but so you it, now mm. I have single moms who are my very good friends. Yes, trust me, they deserve all the love in the world. Yeah. it's not their fault. Mm-hmm. Do you understand mm-hmm. me? Is, it's that, your is it? Is it? Is it? Huh? It's your agenda. Not necessarily. It is your agenda. No, no, no. Don't blame me my agenda. Please. They are the causes. My agenda, <laughs> my agenda is bad. But your agenda is worse. How? Uh, oh, let's not even get into let's that leave, conversation because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a whole other yeah. conversation. Yeah, let's so let's just come back. Let's circle back. My agenda too. My agenda too is terrible. Mm-hmm. We are terrible. We Moving are, right on. We agree. You know, so, but I am, I mean, they deserve all the love they can get. You know, I'm not against it, but me, I'm saying, whatever you find yourself and you're comfortable and you have peace of mind, and then Vital. peace of mind is very important. And you're yeah. happy. And then you're happy. Yeah. Uh, come yeah, on. Yeah, certain things don't matter. I posted the other day on my status and yeah. I'm like, I can like I feel like part of the reason I'm um putting off, you know, like dodging the main um, wedding day event. I like the after of the wedding, the whole honeymoon, the traveling. Yeah, stuff. yeah. But you see that main wedding, wedding I've refused day. to think about it all my life. Hmm. Because it's it sort of scares me. Okay. Because I'm like, imagine the, the crowd, like people. Okay, let's say because I wanted it very I want it very small and with like really close friends, mm-hmm. loved ones and yeah, family. Yeah. But imagine somebody, like somebody I I love so much, just standing there. And I have to walk past all these people to go and meet that person. The person is beaming at me, like just smiling. Do you know how I'll be feeling on the inside? I'll be crying. But when you have the pamoy, are you that? But, but that, oh, no, no, I mean, no, no, like, like walking down the, down the aisle. aisle. But that's the beauty. That's literally what people are looking for. I don't want to be that vulnerable in front of people. Okay, you're not even your side, guys. I'm not even that part, but... <laughs> but that's not the main one. The fact that I have to be that 
vulnerable in front of yeah. other people. And you'll be so happy that you're already exploding. At least that's how happy I but, want but, to but be. But that's a good thing. I know, but yeah, I don't she, want she, to have to do that. Okay, well, so what do you want? In front of people. You want to email the guy? What, what do you want to do? I don't know. Maybe we just see no problem. Email the guy. Email the guy. I feel like... Email the guy. Not, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I feel like it, that, that's something that, you know, most people look forward to. Like, I look forward to that. So maybe not in... It's okay, okay. I think for personal. you, it's the in front of people. Yeah. The in front of people. You're like in front of people. So personal. Like, this woman... It's like, it's like somebody proposing to me in public. I will oh, so you out. you want a private proposal yes. then? Just, like just I, the both of you. I, I, I Okay, yes. so let me confess. So I proposed to... A girl in 2018 at Forever's show. It didn't work out. She's married now. But did she say yes? She said, yeah, of course. Come on now. Uh, Damn. I didn't feel it yourself. No. <laughs> because you said in 20. Yeah, out, yeah, and yeah, so I thought maybe. It didn't okay. work out, but okay. come on now. I, I proposed. Of course. Okay, she said she yes. So in public, okay. so, yeah. Yeah, so like in 2019, 2021-ish, I went to do an introduction with another lady to hoping to marry her, but it didn't work out. How do wow. people get to that point? This is another thing that's scary. My sister celebrate grace. How do you get to that <laughs> point? See, you don't even meet my mom. Like, you don't get to meet my mom until I'm sure of you. But hey, the thing that is... That one is on your side. You don't, you don't understand. You're not many people like us now that we can talk. Uh, Lucy, I feel like when you, when, you, when, you, when you did introduction, you were sure of this person at the time. I was, but, I mean, saying this play down, I'm like, nah, I don't want to be in this toxic you know, kind of environment. So, so how did and you I not moved see on. it? While you all were dating. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I didn't see it because she was not in Nigeria. Where oh, it was uh, a long distance relationship. Okay, yeah, so it was, oh. yeah, so. As a matter of fact, the introduction happened in her absence. So pictures? Zoom? Pictures. Zoom. Zoom. Wow. Apparently you all be zoom. taking risks though. And then when I met my wife that I'm married to now, I didn't even propose to her. Just like, Alpha. <laughs> You, you go, go do as you don't go do. Like, let's, let's, you know, you tell me. But I'm like, very, very curious. I'm very she, curious as to how it ended with the Zoom, with the long distance it, it just, relationship. It just didn't work. No bad blood. I'm still cool with family. No, bad no wow. so like, at what point did you now discover that you guys are now going to work out? Um, uh, when I used to say everybody wanted, because I'm a, I'm a me and you kind of guy. Yeah. Do you get, but people are more of you and others. Yeah. It's me and you that when you're in relationship. Yeah. You're so happy. What's the point? What's the point? So, Lucy, I mean, you and uh, me and you kind of guy. And then when... Forget once, me, once I saw the interferences from both of I'm like, I no, I can't can do this shit. I'm being very honest. I'm mm. like, nah, I just... She pulled the plug by herself, but I saw it. Coming. Yeah, I saw it coming. Like, okay, this, is a, this ain't going to work. And then it happened. No, I tell people that. I said... And when I met my wife, uh, my, my, my parents are not pushy. Yeah. Or pokey. They don't care about you, your relationship, but it's what you come tell them. It's what you want. All right, we'll support you. They're oh, not interested in you. Shout out, shout out to your wife. Yeah. They won't influence anything. So it's her parents, it's her family. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Do you guys do you? What do you guys want? No, oh, so basically, you, so basically yeah. you, you just can't be with a partner where that have family their parents say, like and boy. family interfere all yeah, the time. I've met a babe who was like, I'm like, okay, if we get married, what's going to happen? She's like, ah, once you get married, first of all, how many bedrooms are you living in? I'm like, two. You have to move to like a four. Oh, wow. Where would have like a duplex. My mom is going to have a room. Oh, wow. I'm like, okay, so your mom will live with us. They're like, yeah. Oh, I'm like, your mom will live with us. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> I, see, see what I do. I'm like, your mom will live with us. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't marry her. Because, I, okay, so me, I already know I don't want a large family. Okay. I stayed with someone and they were like 14 in their house. And I like, they have to cook and put in mighty coolers and everybody's just dishing and dishing and going yeah at that point i'm already um Anxious, hyperventilating yeah. because i'm like so at that point i told myself never i'm not having a large family so you're not the type who like when you get married you don't want like your parents in the house family everybody visits one week and go hmm uh, but the one thing i can do is i can just go somewhere and build and have everybody have their own cuts i'm like i just mm-hmm. your own place uh where we come from no no i think what well i've seen every day I was just like, like in my in my village, for example. Mm-hmm. Now, I have like um, some plots allocated, so I need okay. to break down, rebuild. I can build for everybody if you want to come. Like ah, a family house. Like family house, but yeah. not where I, I where I, you stay with your yeah. own family. Yeah, I think which, I, which, I I which I understand. Which I understand. To be honest, because it's mm. a lot. So bygone becomes bygone. Oh, bygone. So bygone become bygone. Hello. One week. I'm telling yeah. you because. 
my my mood starts to change. I need my space. As much as I love people around and everything, but just for a while, then you can go. You can go, then yeah. Come back. Oh, yeah. So much for people are like even more you. fun when it's in doses. Thank like, you. just come. Ah. Let me miss you. Tell you what, yeah. When I was in uni, like, so diploma before 200 level. So I went to, um, I mean, shout out to all the hostels in the University of Lagos. All the boys hostel, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. All the boys hostel. Are you sure mm-hmm. talking about more or mm-hmm. or new hall? Uh, even, even if we had gone to more or new hall. Oh, Amina. Or Amina, or <laughs> Indy. We were always outside. Mm. For some few kids. Anyways. So, um, so I, I got into... All those girls that went to Boys Hostel to be doing things. I really don't know. I don't My know. darling, now we go guest... Thou sorry, shall now not judge. Go guest <laughs> no, I just needed to understand where their mind was at the time. Oh, we, see. Were, I mean... I was so, I, I, I went into Jaja for the first time. Mm-hmm. I went into Jaja with my friend, um, um, Akin Adesonya. I can't remember. One of my friends went to Jaja. And I nearly threw up in Jaja. That's when I realized that some of us are not built for the hostel. Yeah. Mm. We are not. Mm-hmm. We are not. Yeah. But I stayed off K. Yeah. To the entire... I, you, some of us, you and I, you know what yeah. My whole yeah. story, yeah. story is different. I really wanted to go because I used to be in the boarding house. Yeah. I was really excited about going to the hostel at yeah. the university. Packed my bag, bought everything. And then the day I was to leave, my mother is like, so you actually go and leave only me and your father in the house? Are you an only child? As at that time, I was the only one left in the house. Everybody else was grown. I'm the last born. Oh. So everybody was grown and moved out and everything. So she's like, so you would actually really go and live only us in this whole house. That was how I never went to the hostel. Yeah. So today, yeah. Till I finished school, I was going from home. And it wasn't close. It was like one hour trip. Okay. So I'm going to real quick ask you guys a certain question. Like mm. just circle back to what we're talking about. Yeah, sure. And let me start with you, Francis. When mm. you picked your partner... Mm. Or when you married your partner, or when you decided you wanted to go into a relationship with the, with your partner, at the time, and I want you to answer this straightforward for me: Did you need her, or was it just a thing of yeah, I want? Did you want your partner, or did you need her? I needed my partner. I'm being real. I needed. I needed. I needed a partner, but I got a partner who wanted to be needed. Does that make sense? Hmm. And what was the major deciding factor for this? Was it age? Was it just because you were tired of being by yourself? What exactly was it? Homely. Homely? Yeah, she, homely and responsibility. I mean, I met her in a place where a lot of people wanted to give her tasks to do. Mm-hmm. So it takes a person, I'm not, I'm not going to base it on, on gender now. It takes a person, it's just like you get into an organization, there is one person who is always functioning. Mm. And in all the departments, wants to be like, ah, we're going to steal Shaliwa from that department to bring mm, her to accounting. Mm-hmm. She's very effective. You know, so she was in that department where everybody wanted to, we need to have this person in yeah. our place. I mean, she's, she so delivers. You, so you just needed someone to create your home with. I was a very, I was a very, I was a very tattered person. I mean, I was shattered. Uh, not like shattered, shattered, but I was disorganized. But I wanted someone who was the opposite so of needed. who I was. Yes. Yeah, so I needed. Mm-hmm. That person, which is the ultimate factor of love. Mm. Do you understand me? Yeah. You decide to want to need a person and then you find a person, just like CV, person who fits in. That is ultimate love. Hmm. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, I'm on, she gets to hot and she gets to fine. And my, my girl is fine. Dog. Quick God, question. Damn. What happens when you stop needing the person? You can never stop being depressed. See, yeah, I don't even subscribe to the fact that um, this you, 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 um, there's this thing they say you, you scratch, you start from scratch kind of thing. I don't scrub, subscribe. There was a time I used to. You know, I believed in, okay, you meet somebody, you guys are halfway, halfway. You guys build. I'm not. <laughs> so the person has to be made? More than me. Okay. Okay. Because, because. I she mean, wants what she wants. It's, uh, it's her choice. That's bad, what she not, wants. Not, because not bad, I believe that. By the time this person... Imagine that God forbid I'm praying for your kids to not to not be like that. Yeah. No, you're you're saying okay, you do not get um you don't have everything you need and all of that. Imagine in a few years you finish getting what you need, which is what we're seeing now. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen to you. The person finishes making their multi millions, become a billionaire, and next thing is looking outside to a younger girl. Because they because don't need you anymore. Or they don't They've want you it. anymore. And now they're looking for um the, the small sugar babies, you know, to take care of like to squander their money. So make it first. When you when you're done 
Megan being wayward and everything. Yeah, I want when somebody you, that you're done you being a playboy. When you're done, you know. See, but do you think some men would ever be done? Okay, yes, um, there's, there's somebody. There's definitely one person my, for you my that darling, will be done. Can I, yes. can I, can okay. I paint a scenario? For example, right now, I come in. My name is Emmanuel, and I, I meet Lucy, and um, I just got a job with a construction company. I'm a civil... Oh, okay. I'm painting You just scenario. got your job puts you out of the line already. I'm wow. sorry. Wow. So I have to have been the CEO. Preach. You already like... Look, do you, know, do you know what? I respect <laughs> it. She wants what she wants. I would rather someone who is upfront about what she wants. I than took my off my mom because I respect that. That's why I'm, yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. it's fine. All right. I mean... Because you have, don't be, have been there done that. So you can't be... Ah, you can't exactly. be sitting one boy who is just starting life. This, com- this, this mean, conversation... I get it. I get it. I get it. It's like an onion. Like, literally... <laughs> yes. As you, there are too many layers in this conversation. Layers. So let, let's just wrap it up here. This has been fun. This has been... Um, I feel like we've gone from wanting a partner to your type of partner to what he has to be before you get... We've talked about so many things yeah. on this episode. And I feel like... I guess we've just learned so much about each other and what we want out of life and mm-hmm. our partners and what you saw, mm-hmm. you know, in your part. I'm very happy that we had someone who was married to mm-hmm. kind of bring a different perspective yeah, to the yeah, conversation. Yeah. Well, it's nice. He's as who, well. who um, his idea of what he wanted was very easy. Yeah. I feel like it was really easy. You could have gotten that. Anyone could have fit that description easily, nicely. If I had met so, you, would have been married by now. Oh my God. Let, um, and on that note... <laughs> And on that note, guys, this has been fun. And don't forget, it was brought to you courtesy Devon Kings. This has been the Kings Arena podcast. And you know, Devon Kings is the brand that promotes togetherness, the taste that binds. I have been talking to Phronesis, or as we know now, Emeka, right? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. y'all know my real name. Yeah, we know your real name now. Yes, Emeka. And we've also been talking to Lucy and I have been your host, Miracle. This has been so much fun. I will see you guys on the next episode of King's Arena Podcast. Bye.